Manga Wido. I'm Kaori Yanagihara. I'm in my 40s now, and I'm a housewife. Since my kids are in junior high school now, they require less attention. So I started to learn tea ceremony, which was something I always wanted to do. I've still got some extra time, so I was thinking of getting a job, too. One day, a mom friend came to visit. Wow, your house is immaculate. Would you be interested in working with us? She asked me if I was interested in housekeeping. We visit the customer's house and then clean the house, cook, take care of the garden, and do whatever they ask us to do. So we basically become a housekeeper. All of my colleagues were about the same age as me, and we had a lot in common. It was fun to learn professional skills for chores, and I really liked the job. When our customers told me, Thank you so much! I'll use this service again! I'll ask for you to come again! It was rewarding, and I felt happy. After six months, there was something that made me feel, I don't like this, for the first time. A new customer who registered was a mom that I knew. Her name was Miyata-san, and she tends to look down on single moms or civil servants by saying things like, They live off the taxes we pay! The things she says are unbelievable. I've heard her make fun of our mom friend by saying, Oh, you live at a municipal housing unit? You must be in need. So I warned, You shouldn't say things like that. But after that, it was a tragedy. She purposefully said bad things about me at a place where I can hear it. We had nothing in common after our kids went to different schools, but I never thought I would see her again at work. She noticed right away and said, Oh, wow, it's been a while, in a sarcastic way. Long time no see. Thank you for your request today. Oh, I'm not sure if you're cut out for this. If it's not cleaned properly, I'm going to file a complaint to your office. Be aware. We will do our best. I cleaned her house until it was spick and span. She sometimes watched over my shoulders glaring at me, and it was pretty awkward. The staff that I went with looked worried for me, too. After two hours, we did a thorough job and had her check the place. She touched here and there to see whether we missed a speck of dust. I'd been to many houses so far, but this was the first time someone checked this much. My heart was pounding. But because we did our job well, she looked bored and said, ah, All right then. Phew, apparently we didn't fail. We received the payment and left her house. But ever since, whenever she saw me outside, she came up to me. Oh, hi, Kaori. Thank you for coming the other day. You're welcome. Thank you for using our service. Oh, has Kaori done something for you? Well, Kaori works as a housekeeper, and she came to clean my house. What? Housekeeping? I don't think anyone would still be doing that. I'd imagine she couldn't work in an office or even be a cashier register, so the housekeeping company was probably the only place that hired her. Oh, right. Now that makes sense. Interesting. It was so mean that I got very upset. But she is our customer, and if I get into a quarrel with a customer, it would affect my company. So I held back. Please choose us again, I said with a firm smile and left. That was the day of my tea ceremony lessons. Uh-oh. Uh ha? Huh? I was distracted by what she said, and I really couldn't concentrate. After that, Miyata-san kept asking for me to go to her house. Ah, oh, I feel bad that poor people have to do things like this to make a living. It's hard when husbands can't make enough money to feed the family, huh? And she keeps coming up to me to say whatever she wants. It was so bad that I almost felt like she was asking for me because she wanted to keep on nagging me. <sighs> oh, why are you sighing? Is something on your mind? Well, the thing is, there's this really annoying customer at work. Oh no, how awful. After our lesson, I was cleaning up and the teacher came to talk to me because I was looking down. I couldn't give a name, but as I told her the details, she started to look stern. You're not talking about... Huh? Yes, it is! A week later, Miyata-san made a request again. I want you to clean somewhere else today, but that's okay, right? Of course. I went to the place she designated and waited for Miyata-san to arrive. 
Ten minutes after the time she promised, she came. Without even apologizing, she opened the door of the house she designated with an arrogant attitude. This is it. Make it immaculate until I say okay. Be more thorough than usual, and don't leave a speck of dust. I'll be your slave driver for you today. She kept yelling. Start working already! If you start slacking, I'm filing a complaint! With an arrogant attitude. But I was smirking inside. Now let's see who's going to be slaving away. The next moment, she saw the person in the back room, and she froze. Uh, Mom? Why? What do you mean, why? Uh, this is her house, so it's no surprise that she's here. Uh, how do you? Are you a student of my in-law's lessons? Oh, yes. She's been very good to me. It turned out that my tea ceremony teacher was Mia Tassan's mother-in-law. That day, when she was hearing me out. Isn't that my son's wife? What? She realized who I was talking about, and I found out that Mia Tassan was her daughter-in-law. She had been suspicious because she knew that Mia Tassan never did chores, but her house suddenly became clean. She saw our company car in front of Miyata-san's house and realized that she had been using our service. I was really surprised when she asked me, Does that annoying customer happen to be the Miyata who lives three blocks away? There were many Miyatas around here, so I never thought my teacher and Miss Miyata-san were related. I heard everything you've done to Kaori. You've said terrible things. Uh, no, not really. You were saying that you were going to be a slave driver? Well, too bad. Let's see who's going to be slaving away today. Oh, what do you mean? I will also do my best upon your request. But today, she has asked me to train you. Train me? What kind of... She asked me to train you so that you can keep the house clean yourself and not rely on housekeeping. Now... Let's get to work until we drop. I've asked her to make her slave away today. If you understand how hard it is, you would never look down on housekeepers and say terrible things. You need to clear up your mind by cleaning up the house. This is part of my job today, so I will drive you hard. Beware! Miyata-san was complaining, but when her mother-in-law said, If you're not doing this, you're going to receive some divorce papers. She reluctantly started to clean. By the way, we have a service called Cleaning Lessons, and I've taught other customers before. I did teach Mia to send some skills, but her mother-in-law was more persistent. That's not how it is! You can't properly scrub the floor like that! She was yelling a lot, and it was really scary. After we finished, the place was spick and span. Mia to send was so exhausted, she couldn't say a word. I guess she got so wiped out from doing what she's never done before. After that, she stopped saying something sarcastic each time she saw me. She stopped using our service, too. And she was using our services without telling her husband. You're just slacking! That's what you used our money on?! Apparently, her husband got really mad, and she's not in charge of the family finances anymore. Her husband also found out that she'd been using quite a lot of money on nail salons, spas, and facial machines. And her husband said, Work and pay me back. If you don't, I'm getting a divorce. Now, she has a part-time job almost every day, and she's paying back her husband. This is my payment for this month. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go to spas and nail salons. I can't do all these chores. I'm too tired. Ugh, my back hurts. You reap what you sow. I'm not sorry for you. I'm enjoying my life, still doing my housekeeping job, and continuing with my tea ceremony lessons. I learned from Mia Tassan that it's important to live within your means. I'll continue to be humble and appreciate what I have.